The first thing I want to establish before diving deep into this video is number one, why the fuck should you listen to me? I'm Jesse B. I'm 21 years old and I'm an independent rapper myself. I want to expose the truth about independence. I want to share with you all of my tips and tricks and the things that I've learned through my own experience. And I've gotten a lot of DMs and questions about steps I took in order to get to the point that I'm at today. The first thing you need to understand about being an independent artist is the fucking definition of independence, okay? Let's establish what an independent artist looks like and then we'll get down to the nitty gritty of how to be one. The definition of being an independent artist. According to that definition, you are responsible for all of your music, okay? No one's gonna make the music for you. You're responsible for writing all of your lyrics. You're responsible for filming it. You're responsible for editing it. You're responsible for funding everything. And if it doesn't get done, it's no longer an excuse. It's your own fucking fault. Second truth about being an independent artist is that no one is going to do it for you. Stop thinking that you deserve to be an independent artist, okay? Not gonna happen. I don't even know why I'm holding this anymore. One thing that I struggled with when I first started doing music was that I thought if someone would just notice my music, if the people that I looked up to would just notice what I'm putting out there and listen to my bars and see what I'm capable of, that somehow in this magical fairy tale land, they would come and save me and they would just hand me my entire music career. And that's just not how fucking life works, okay? Stop thinking that other artists are gonna come and save you. Being an independent artist is your job. Okay, it's not Tech Nine's job to make you a rapper. That's that's your job. That's why you're independent. I don't know why that's so hard for people to understand. When it comes to getting noticed, it opens up doors and opportunities that wouldn't be opened up if they hadn't noticed you. For instance, networking. When I first started doing music, I was noticed by a couple of artists, including Upchurch. I'm talking about Jesse B. Chase Matthews. They just I'm the Kitty Noel. If you think you're writing better songs than her, you're fucking not. So yeah, Jesse Bulls deserves new female artist of the year. One of my awesome friends, Chad Arms, noticed me as well. It's dope that we're here to be able to to see your first show. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Got we our just little cheerleading squad. Here. Yeah, absolutely, oh, man. We're gonna show well, you. The love. cool thing is when you got that natural raw talent, it just has a way That's of right. working itself out anyway. So <laughs> now those people noticing my music didn't automatically give me a career and establish myself as a rapper. I established myself as an artist. Those gave me opportunities to network with other people, to learn more about the people I'm going to be working with. It also opened up doors for features. But never assume that if a bigger artist or someone that you look up to, if they notice your music, never assume that they're willing to help you or give you your entire career in the palm of your hand. That's all your job. When I first started out, I was doing absolutely everything by myself. Everything down to making the beats, promoting myself, to making my own advertisements and my own graphics, filming my own music videos, editing my own videos. And what that taught me was to be resourceful. It better prepared me for the experiences that I have now, where I can hire someone to mix and master. I can hire someone to film and, and edit my videos if I needed to. The third truth of being an independent artist is that being independent, while it may be difficult, it's not impossible. I'm gonna dive into two main areas. First one being time. When you're establishing yourself as an independent artist, you have to somehow schedule and make time for your craft. That's even with working a full-time job. For instance, I don't just do music. I work at a gun shop. I've also worked at a warehouse. And then I worked at a fucking hair color store. I worked at many different places, but those were all placeholders to help fund the bigger idea, the music. Not only do you have to schedule and make time and opportunities for your craft, you have to stick to it. You have to be consistent about it. Time is a really difficult concept for independent artists. They can't understand like, how, okay, how am I supposed to work a full-time job, make all this money to help fund my music and somehow still make music? What the fuck? It's possible. It's difficult, but it is possible. The second area that makes it really hard for people to be independent artists, it's money, okay? Like I said in the beginning, you have to fund all of your endeavors. You have to pay for travel when you go to shoot videos. You also have to pay for your equipment and whatever software you're gonna use if you're gonna be completely independent and record your own music. When you go to create your own merchandise, you have to fit the bill. Even down to the distribution. I know throughout this video, I've been being kind of harsh. I've been telling you guys the evil, ugly truth about independent artistry. Now I'm gonna tell you the benefits. Why? everyone should be becoming independent, why labels are no longer necessary. Let's start off with the biggest one. You are in control and no one can tell you what to do when it comes to making decisions about your music. You get to call the shots. You get to determine where your music goes, when it releases, who you work with, who you don't work with. You get to decide everything. You are in complete control of your career. As opposed to being on a label, they call the shots. You're just the talent. 
Another benefit from being an independent artist, you make all the money, okay? Everything that you release, everything that you put out, all of the streams, all of the views from your YouTube, whatever, all of the revenue goes to you. As opposed to being on a label, you are probably making a fraction of what the label is making from your music, from everything that you've written, you've come up with, you sang, you rapped, whatever. The final benefit I wanna talk about when it comes to being an independent artist is that there is endless opportunity and you get to create it. You get to be in charge. You get to design everything that you do. You get to sit back at the end of the day and say, this is something that I did. You came to this conclusion, you made your dreams happen and you decided to change your life. So that's all I got for you today. We're gonna go ahead and do an overview of everything that we talked about in this video. If you wanna go ahead and screenshot what I'm about to put on the screen, that way you'll have all the information we discussed in this video to help further your music. The first truth about being an independent artist is that you are responsible for your own music. The second truth, getting noticed encourages opportunities, not easy success. Three, being an independent artist is difficult, but not impossible. And finally, being an independent artist gives you complete control of your talent, your career, and your future. Anyway. I love you guys. Take care and uh, go make some awesome fucking music.